Risk management adds the fifth element to quality control. I've taught quality control for decades now, and I've always taught it with there are four key numbers that drive quality. The true value, the current mean that you use to calculate accuracy, the SD that drives precision, and the allowable error limit or the medical goal. But now you add acceptable risk, and this fifth element changes everything. It changes what you see, and it changes what you can do. What must you do? You must ensure the accuracy and reliability of test results, and the test result quality is appropriate for patient care. This document, by the way, is posted in the handouts with the webinar, and both of these are available online. I'll comment just to say, this I would describe as the minimum, this I would recommend. What should you do? Read the glossary, follow the flowcharts. They got it right. I was part of this committee not as involved as I would have liked to have been, but they got it right. With medical goals and acceptable risk levels, risk management is black and white.